See, I guess I'm too open-minded because I support all transition, not just sexual. Why do we stop at sexual? I support transition of personality, transition of uh, opinion, right? Like Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart got in trouble with some offensive tweets from years ago. Well, I'm not the same guy I was from years ago. I've transitioned. I used to have sex with 16-year-olds when I was 16. <laughs> now I don't. I'm different. Well, years ago, he said some offensive stuff. Well, years ago, she won the men's relay. People change. <laughs> Why do you support that and not that? Huh. It just tells me if I ever get into trouble now, I'm just going to get a sex change because you got to kiss my ass. Hey, Mark, we heard that interview from 10 years ago. <laughs> that was Mark. I'm Margaret. <laughs> I don't know. I support Kevin Hart also because he's a midget. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Mm. But I don't know. Everything's weird now. You know, the news is insane. The internet's full of hate. I feel like it's the little things that keep you happy now. You got to cherish the little things. I got a Snapple today. I love a good Snapple. I love that fun fact under the cap. <clears throat> it was a good one today. It said, uh, polar bears used to be brown, but through evolution, they turned white because police were shooting them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I couldn't believe they fit all that under the cap. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes. A lot of racial talk now. White privilege. That's a term you hear a lot now. White privilege. But I thought it was all about diversity. So shouldn't we talk about everybody's privileges? Why are we just limiting it to whitey? Let's spread the love. Let's make every group feel good. Everybody's got something. Tall people, privilege, see the concert. Jews, no hell. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Women, ladies' night, that's cool. Black people, I can't wear a purple suit. <laughs> Looks like fun. Everybody's got a perk. Indian people, even if you're undateable, your parents will arrange something, huh? <laughs> Let's spread the love. <laughs> Who's got the energy to be racist, huh? That's got to suck to be racist. Wouldn't that be weird? Just like, you go to the bank, you're like, ah, oh, there's Jews here, I got to leave. <laughs> what a horrible life. Man, put on an outfit, go to a meeting, all that stuff. I don't care about any group enough to hate it. Do whatever you want. Go nuts. I don't, I don't want to do anything. I'm lazy. I don't want to burn a cross or a calorie. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's worked up about something. Oh, these, there's Muslims on airplanes. Well, I'd rather a Muslim on a plane than a baby. <laughs> Never had a Muslim kick the back of my seat and piss in the aisle. <laughs> I'm just saying if the airport had a baby ban, I wouldn't protest. <laughs> yeah, but transgender, they're using the bathrooms. Well, they're still using the toilet, right? They're not leaving a hot floater in the sink. <laughs> If that was, like, their thing, then, yeah, we should totally have a meeting. That's crazy, you know? <laughs> then you get the hillbilly guy. Well, what if one of these perverts puts on a dress and looks at my wife in the bathroom? Ooh, what a score. Some guy can see your toothless wife shitting? Yeah. <laughs> what a lucky guy. Come on, go to work, you lunatic. But, hey, we've come a long way. We hate to admit that. We hate to admit it. We've come a long way. Like, in the 50s, we had whites only and blacks only water fountain, which is incredibly sad, especially if you're a thirsty Asian. <laughs> What the hell were they doing? Drinking out of a faucet? No one talks about it. Never come up once. Not a peep. <laughs> Nothing. Black people are pissed. Can you believe this shit? We got our own water fountain. Age like, can I get a sip? I'm dying out here. <laughs> I got a triangular hat to block the sun. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Asians. I think they're the best group. I think they're number one. I don't think they get the credit they deserve. I'm an Asian supremacist all the way. I think they're better than the rest. Any Asian people here? Hey, all right. You should be working. Come on. <laughs> What are you doing having a good time? That's not the Asian I know, goddammit. I want you dealing blackjack or sitting on a box oh. peeling something. Come on. <laughs> Big fan. Best group. Easily the best group. No love. You guys get the short on the chopstick. It's pretty unfair. <laughs> so quiet. So secure, it. Asians. Every other group's got to brag and boast. Every group's got a slogan. Black people, I'm black and I'm proud. White people, white power. Hispanics, ay 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 ay. <laughs> Not an Asian. Aiden just head down, grades up. That's it. Aiden, you're the best. You never hear about Asian crime. Never. If I was an Asian guy, I would just start mugging people. I'm like, hey, it's my word against yours. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Oh, yeah. I think the news is a problem. The news pins us all against each other. News makes it seem like all white people are scared of minorities. I don't think all white people are scared of minorities. I do think a lot of white people are scared of looking racist. That's really the big fear with whitey. Like, if I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning, I see a sketchy-looking white guy coming towards me, I'm like, crap. I'm going to cross the street. If I'm walking down the street at 4 in the morning, I see a sketchy-looking black guy coming towards me, I'm like, crap. I wish I could cross the street. <laughs> okay? I'd rather get stabbed and look like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. 
white people, we are so worried about looking ignorant and bigoted. I guess because of our history. Like, I, I went skiing recently with my friend. We're sitting on the ski lift. I was like, why don't you see more black people skiing? Why is that? My friend has no idea, but he's going to, you know, half-ass his way through it because he doesn't want to seem dumb. So he's like, ah, uh, you know, they don't grow up with it. Like, well, I'm from Louisiana. I'm here. Well, ski is very expensive. Ah, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, I've never seen a black guy with anything expensive on their feet. <laughs> Just say you don't know. It's all right. You sound way worse. That's why black people are smarter. White people, we do crazy stuff. We swim with sharks. We go bungee jumping, cliff diving. Ask a black guy, why do they do that? They go, I don't know. That's white people shit. <laughs> That's a good answer. They don't sit around going, well, uh, you know, Europe. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But look, yeah, I'm a white guy. If I talk about race now, for some reason another white person, Ebbly, calls me racist. That's like what we do. It's like, I know you're trying to seem like a hero, but you're going to ruin that word. You're going to take the teeth out of it. It's like an important word. You're going to ruin it. Like, I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> and the guy next to them caught me. He goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What, are you racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm hard. I'm not a racist. I'm aroused. It's an important word. People abuse it all the time. A friend of mine, she's Puerto Rican. We grew up together. She's like, I hate going to the gym. The white women there all give me the stink eye because they're racist. I was like, damn, what happened? She's like, well, first bring my food in and I eat it. Then I play my music really loud. I'm like, oh, maybe they just hate you. Let's not lump together all of Puerto Rico because you're being a twat. <laughs> you're being inconsiderate and rude. Take a little ownership. Look within. You can't blame everything on bigotry. Look, I grew up in a black neighborhood. I was a bedwetter. I'd sleep at their houses. Eventually, they stopped inviting me over. I wasn't like, ah, they hate white people. No, I ruined their fucking furniture. <laughs> they didn't hate white. They hated yellow. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh yeah. I like all the groups. I just make jokes, you know? Remember jokes? Yeah. I met a nice girl in that Jewish app. What's that Jewish app called? The Jewish one? Uh, what's the Jewish app? Uh, that, that, the other one. The other one. Uh, PayPal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Going pretty well, yeah. A lot of ladies here tonight. That's exciting. I feel like this is like your time, ladies. This is like the year of the woman, you know? I went to the Women's March in Manhattan. That was cool. Although I got to say, I haven't heard the word pussy yelled that much since that time I rollerbladed to high school. <laughs> that was a tough morning. Yeah. It's kind of crazy what women go through, isn't it? Like some guys just like whip it out and stuff in front of women. That's wild. That's bold. See, I have a penis, so I'm not that scared of new ones. But I guess if you don't have a penis, a new one's got to be pretty scary. Huh? The closest I can get to that feeling is once I was hanging out with a friend and he just took out a gun. I was like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, well, you know I had a gun. I'm like, yeah, but we're at Whole Foods. Because <laughs> a dick and a gun are very similar. If somebody pulled out either one right now, we'd all be like, whoa, is that meant for me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't point it at me. Damn. Dick and a gun, very similar. Both pointy. They shoot things. They come in different sizes. You can get a pistol or a shotgun. I'm circumcised, so I'm sawed off. <laughs> yeah. We're cracking down on sexual harassment finally. That's good. You know who gets sexually harassed more than women? The one group? Pets. Yeah. Nobody ever gets consent from a dog. Nobody. People just pick it up, kiss it on the face, rub its belly, do that weird, creepy, long pet where you grab the tail at the end. <laughs> We're creepy as hell with dogs. And we sound like creeps. They like it. They're begging me for it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God dogs can't talk. We'd all go to jail, right? <laughs> Just some chihuahua in a courtroom like, first he flipped me over. <laughs> <laughs> then he caressed all eight of my nipples. <laughs> then he slapped me on the ass repeatedly and said, you're a good girl, good girl. <laughs> oh, God. We harass dogs all day long, and they're perfect harassed, and they can't talk, so they'll never report you. That's why they're man's best friend. <laughs> Also, dogs forget stuff after like two seconds. You could stick your finger up a dog's ass and be like, well, that was weird. Frisbee! Because <laughs> really, when you break down our relationship with dogs, dogs are shameless, shameless whores, aren't they? I mean, they're like gold diggers. Look at the deal we've cut with a dog. Like, all right, pooch, I will house you and feed you, but I get to touch you whenever I want. Dog's like, what are you kidding? That's fucking amazing. <laughs> I'll do you one better. When you come home, I'll hump your leg. I'll lick my balls in front of you. And when you have sex, I'll watch. <laughs> That's fair. 
And cats, cats are the exact opposite. Cats are like sexual assault victims. They're all nervous, skittish, head on a swivel, huh? You touch me, I'll fucking cut you. I'll cut you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not grabbing this pussy, all right? Yeah. Now leave me alone, I gotta look out a window for an hour. <laughs> ¶¶